guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jerry Del Vento and I'm so pumped you are tuning in to today's video. So we're gonna have so much fun. Videos every Thursday and I'm pretty pumped about today's video because we're gonna be having a little bit of a class and we're just gonna go through um, some interior design styles together. I am in the interior design world. I, I'm a self-taught, didn't go to school for it, but I would say a few years of experience um, and doing this and this my previous job I did this for about five years we had to turn um, I worked at a church and we had to turn any space into a welcoming environment for people so we had to like turn lobbies or like turn courtyards into lobbies and we had to turn like really run down spaces into like something pretty and aesthetically pleasing so um, I got kind of a lot of um, a lot of practice there. Before that, um, I went to school to be a dance teacher, but a degree in the art in the visual art department, you had to take a lot of different classes, and I did. I took a lot of art classes. I took a lot of different um, things that exposed me. Um, stage design classes. It exposed me to this world um, that I, I really was really passionate about. Um, so even though I was a dance teacher for many years, I just had an inclination to all things of like, I would say, um, stage design and like interiors and just like making things look better. Um, a bit of me, uh, maybe we'll do a Q and A another day and just like, you'll find out a little more information and more history about me. But with that being said, um, a few months ago, I posted this video on my TikTok and um and it kind of you know kind of went viral quickly and it was talking your interior design style and i was just pointing at different items i was i, I was saying if you don't know your interior design style if you don't really know what you like shopping at these places at these type of places can really confuse you um you know because you end up grabbing a bunch of stuff that doesn't really vibe together and so I just started pointing at like at a, you know at a really modern chair. I started pointing at an industrial coffee table, um, French country French um, nightstands, you know. So I started pointing at different items and naming the different styles, and the vid the video went viral pretty quickly. And as you know, if you know anything about TikTok, people could be very very mean on TikTok. Uh, like savagey, like trolls, like yes, 100%. People are just, I don't know what it is. Um, they're like, you're so wrong, you know, that's not true. All of this can go together. This is, looks great. And um, so that's the <laughs> point is, I'm not here to discuss the video or like prove those people wrong. Um, but it gave me an idea. I was like, it would be really cool to talk about your interior design style and what you like and what you don't like. And I think it's important to identify, um, to say, hey, I love this. Hey, I don't love this. Um, being able to identify what you like and what you don't like. Um, just so that way when you are styling your home or buying stuff for your house or your apartment, that there is a, um, a common narrative and all right we're gonna go through a few of these um, styles together these go in no particular order um, I'm just gonna give you some of the most popular ones and um, I'm gonna show you some pictures so that that way you're able to connect the dots it's really the difference between modern design and contemporary design even though those two get confused all the time and there's some similarities between the two modern design refers to a specific period in time contemporary design is the ever-evolving um, style or you know this um, interior design style um, all right first things first we're gonna go through um, mid-century modern mid-century modern it is um, probably one of the most prolific interior design styles of all time mid-century modern borrows from the the best of the 50s and the 60s for a clean retro Danish feel if if we may be honest um, you see simple straightforward lines silhouettes uh, very cool organic shapes the fabrication and the design style in these um, pieces of furniture is just um, very specific and very clean as you can see um, it emphasizes on functionality 
and um, it really just um, hallmarks this specific time era, the 50s and the 60s for me. Um, next up is the eclectic, um, similar to bohemian decor, but a little bit more grown up. Um, eclectic interior design is all about high energy. Uh, think of bold color palettes, think of textures, um, think of patterns, um, different patterns that come together to create a very, very bold style. Um, that would be eclectic, um, rich, um, a mixture of things. These are just words that come to mind. And as you can see, this is 100% eclectic, which I absolutely love. Um, the other one would be modern farmhouse. Um, our, the, the good old country uh, farmhouse. Um, this became very popular in the recent years because of our girl Joanna Gaines, uh, which we all have to think for. And uh, rustic and country charm. Uh, specific um, individual elements that you know it's the wood it's the it's a rustic feel it's the unfinished wood uh, that rustic mixed with minimalism mixed with Scandinavian interior design it was mixed with um, you know you have a very rustic table but you know maybe the handles on the um, on the and the kitchen counters and the kitchen uh, drawers are very modern Scandinavian gold that would be considered a modern farmhouse so it's mixing a uh, minimalistic mi mixing Scandinavian mixing a um, somewhat warm um, you know modern elements with that rustic country feel Bohemian, which is a boho, very popular at the very moment, is one of the most timeless and endlessly popular interior design styles out there. It represents a carefree freedom, a mix of exotic finds and vintage finds and antique furnishings and um, a sourced, maybe you went to you went to Morocco and you went to a flea market there and you found some really cool things and you're hanging them up on your wall. Um, that is global inspired um, uh, style. Um, industrial, industrial is a fun one. Um, industrial as one of, as, as the name, as the name evokes, it would be an urban vibe. Think of like an industrial warehouse, you know, lots of metal. Uh, factory elements, a big um, f um, lighting pendants that look like they could be in a factory. As a matter of fact, I furnished a space um, with um, these vintage factory lights that came from France, okay? Um, so there you go. It was Scandinavian. Um, Scandinavian, increasingly popular thanks to our friends um, at IKEA. Um, Scandinavian interior design um, style emphasizes on simplicity, emphasizes on serene, uh, not busy, very uh, neutral tones. Um, they love to design their furniture fully functional and uh, minimal. So whatever they do have on display, it has to serve a purpose. It's not just for looks. Um, and Scandinavian decor highlights organic shapes and lacks appeal. They're all about white spaces and gray undertones. That's pretty much um, their look. Um, it is beautiful. A lot of people choose that minimalistic Scandinavian design because it's less busy. It's more practical for um, their lifestyle. Um, and it's beautiful too. I love it as well. California casual, what I like to call California casual. Um, there's a few names to this one, but I'm sticking to California casual. The California casual style is light, it's open, it's airy, um, it, walls are often white or off-white and furniture um, uh, upholstery is very neutral. Neutral tones, the tan and the light, light beige and white are probably the most um, used colors in that in design style, merging the indoors and out. Um, so 
The color palette usually takes that very light and airy feel because they're mixing um, the kind of the indoor world with the outdoor world. So over, there's a few more and there's a lot more to be honest. Um, and then if you start mixing styles and then you have other names, you know? So I just wanted to give you a few that are popular that are out there i think it's important to um to say that you can mix styles you can totally do um you know a industrial boho industrial you know so that would be another term and then it would be the two styles mixed together you know um that's why i'm saying there would be a lot of different styles if we were to sit here and name all of them um but it is important to say that you can definitely mix styles when designing a home that happens often you can do it totally that is very normal um, but i think it's very important as you are designing a space or if you are buying a new place if you're not able to get hire an interior designer that you know what you like and how does that happen i think that happens by educating yourself and reading and looking and asking questions and there's so much information out there that can really help you um i think walking into stores knowing what you're looking for and knowing your style and knowing your um, interior design style will help you a ton and will save you a lot of money and a lot of headaches um, and another important factor to mention is that you can every few years your style can change it's totally normal and totally okay my style has evolved um, as I've gotten older and as you evolve and as things come new things come into play um, your your style is ever evolving you know so that's totally normal and totally okay it doesn't mean that you have to be stuck to one style for the rest of your life or two styles for the rest of your life um give yourself some grace experiment with new styles if you're bored of what you currently have and um hope this was helpful um let me know in the comments if you find this type of information helpful if all the pictures were helpful i uh, would love to hear from you um so like i said if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe, hit that button. I bring you new videos every Thursday. And um, if you like this one, let me know in the comments. And well, I hope you guys have the best week. It's Halloween week. So um, I'm also wondering what you're dressing up as. Is it a kitty cat or is it, um, I don't know, a bank robber? I don't know. Anyhow, see you soon.